Hi friends, welcome to Artie Den. Today we're gonna to be talking about a set of exercises that you can do before you sit down at the piano, before you start your finger exercises like Hannon. These exercises could help you decrease your pain. I know, you know, I get back pain, I get wrist pain and elbow pain. And so today we have Jay here, who's a personal trainer to teach us these exercises to decrease our pain. Thanks, Grace. It's good to be here. So we'll be going through a few exercises. As with any exercise program, please consult your physician first. And if you're experiencing any pain, sometimes shoulder pain, uh, please see your local physical therapist. Let's get started. Sounds good. So this is what Grace looks like before doing her exercises. She has a rounded back, she's hunched forward, and she's very tense in the shoulders. So we're gonna to try to fix that. So the first one's gonna be a shoulder roll. This gets the blood moving in the shoulders and the arms, and it prevents you from playing uh, cold. So you don't wanna open yourself up to injury. So we're gonna start. Um, we'll show you this way. We're gonna move our shoulders up, roll them forward, down and back. And we're going to keep doing this motion for 20 seconds. You can go nice and slow. I'm really feeling the stretch here. Yeah, people carry a lot of tension around the sh their shoulders, their traps. So we're going to try to relieve that. That's good. So let's stop at the top and we're going to reverse direction. I feel like a lot of times when my shoulders are cold and when my you know arms are cold, I play a lot slower too. Yeah, that makes sense because you know there's less movement in your in your muscles, less movement in your body. That's true. Good, and we'll stop there. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is a stretch, and we're going to be stretching our trapezius muscle. That's the muscle between your head and your shoulder, right here. So we have our good friend Steve to show us where the trapezius muscle is. Say hello. Hello. So I got a little crazy and did it too much on the, with a the 3D pen, but basically the trapezius muscle is right here. It goes all along your back and it's quite a big muscle. So we want to stretch that to release some tension before playing. It's a much bigger muscle than I thought. Yeah, it is. Some people just think it's right here, but it actually it extends down into the back region. So we're going to be doing, we're going to be grabbing our head very lightly pulling down to the right and as soon as you do that you'll feel a stretch right here on your left and extend as, as far as you need to you don't want to extend too far but how do you feel the stretch here yeah I feel it right here okay that's good yeah so this is often tight and people they carry a lot of tension here it's oftentimes people are hunched forward that's because of that good we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds and how about we switch to the other side. So we're gonna lightly pull our head to the left and stretch out our right side. Feels nice. Yeah, yeah. You can do this any time of the day too. So good, right after we do that, we're gonna do half neck circles. So we're gonna look down, slow look to the right, and back to the left. So this slow stretch often Release more tension in the neck. It's very relaxing too. We always forget about our neck, our traps. Yeah, definitely. But they're very important. They keep up and they keep our posture upright. So the next one I like to call chest openers. So we're gonna stand, feet bars, all right? Have your hands together. We're going to breathe in and bring our arms up over our head. Once up here, we can turn our palms away from each other and then bring it slowly down, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And while you bring it down, you want to exhale. Do you want to inhale and exhale at the same time? Okay. Alternate. Turn the palms and down. So some of you may have shoulder injuries. So 
I have another one for you that you may enjoy. You, you take a resistance band in your hand, just like this. And while Grace does that, I'll show you this one. So we're gonna take it like this, bring it in the air, and pull to our chest, squeezing our shoulder blades together, and back up. Down, and back up. So for both of these exercises, you wanna do 16. Okay. If you can't get to 16, that's okay. 12, eight to 10, around there is good. Really opens up your chest. Yeah, you definitely feel a sque squeeze in the trapezius muscle, the one Steve showed us earlier. And that kind of keeps your posture back and upright. This is nice. Actually one of my favorites. <laughs> I think you grew a couple inches. Yeah, I do feel a little taller here. Okay, so we warmed our shoulders, warmed up our traps. Now we're gonna focus on our wrists. Sounds good. You don't want your wrists locking up when you play. Does that happen to you? Yeah, speaking from personal experience, you know, mm. when I play complicated sequences in my left hand and I try way too hard when my muscles are cold, things lock up. That sounds terrible, but let us know if it happens to you and let's see if this works. So we're gonna take out our left hand, support it with our right, and we're gonna do the alphabet and draw out the alphabet with our hand. Sounds good. I'm gonna do lowercase cursive. Oh, I'll stick with uppercase. I like how this gets all sorts of movements that the circles don't get. Yeah, it definitely does, and then definitely makes you think. Like, even if you're doing it with a non-dominant hand, I mean, you're, you're going to find it more difficult. You can even write your name. You can write your name ten times, right? Yeah, that works too. So I think I'm at V? Yeah. Yeah, and when you're done the alphabet, you can switch hands and do it again. Sounds good. You can hear my wrists cracking. Yeah, for those of you out there that still feel tight after this, you can keep doing it more. That's okay. You can do it two or three times as long as you need to. I clearly lost a letter I'm on. I'm on R. You're on R already? Okay, I thought I was on H. Are was... you sure you know the alphabet? You know what? Sometimes I forget. That's okay. I don't think you can work in a library. Okay, now that we're warmed to the wrist, let's work on the forearm and stretch it. The forearm is between the wrist and the elbow. It's on both sides, so we're going to stretch both sides. That'd be good. Yeah. So let's stick out our left hand, palm facing up, take your right hand, with your arm straight, and then pull back. And you feel a nice stretch right here. Should your arm be all the way straight? Yeah, all the way straight. Okay. Yeah. Should your fingers be straight, or does it matter? Um, it depends on your flexibility. Like with me, mine are a little tight, so I can't really get very far back. But that's okay, as long as you're feeling it right here. We're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, and then we'll do the other arm. Sounds good. Yeah, I feel like one of my arms is more flexible than the other. Yeah, is that your dominant hand? Yeah, this one is. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Are you more flexible in your dominant one? Actually, let's see. I'm left-handed, so this is my right. And this is my left. Actually, they seem about the same. That's good for you. Yeah. So, we did that, and now we're going to stretch the top. So we're going to take our hand out, palm facing down, right hand, pull it back. The arm straight. So I guess if you rotate your hand different angles, you feel in different locations here. Yeah, there's many muscles. There's 20 muscles in the forearm, so it's change the angle and you're gonna hit a different muscle. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I find if I put my hand here, kind of turn it to the left. Yeah. Do you feel it along this big ridge right here? Yeah, I feel it more when I turn it out. Yeah. So try to experiment with that. But just You don't want to push too hard, but just very lightly. Okay, so we're nice and warmed up. We're going to move on to our fingers. We want to strengthen them up. So what I have here is a little, like, jelly balls. So you can squeeze them pretty hard. Super squishy, right? Yeah, super squishy. They come in different variety. And the ones I got were on Amazon. So often people have weaker fingers, sometimes the pinky or the the ring finger. So what I like to do, I 
put it right underneath and try to squeeze it with one finger. So I do that a few times and then move to the next finger. Just like that. So these come in different strengths, right? Yeah, they do. So this one, so they come in, you can probably see it, they squish this really hard. How about that one? Does that one squish? No, no, not, it's, as, not much. as much. And this one doesn't squish, squish very much. So you want to start with the easiest one. And then you go to your middle finger. Yep. Do it a few times. Index. Even your thumb, too. You can do that as well. And you can do the whole hand after. You want to just squeeze it a few times and then move on to the next finger. And you can just keep going back in a cycle. And after you finish one hand, you just want to open it, close it, open it, close it. Just get that blood flowing in there. And then you want to do the opposite hand. With your thumb. Actually, it's really hard to do my pinky and my ring finger. Yeah. The hand and exercises actually focus on these two. Oh, so they do strengthen it. Okay. You can even do this while watching TV. Yeah. These are easy to incorporate into your daily life. Yeah, definitely. And they're fun to squish around too. Yeah. Good. So let's do that. And then you're all warmed up and ready to play. That's great. Wow. Thanks. Let's see you play. All right. Okay, so those are the exercises. That wasn't too bad, right? Five, ten minutes of that? No, that was actually a lot of fun. And I feel looser. I feel a little taller, too. Yeah, you definitely have better posture. Ready thank to play. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you to our wonderful teacher for teaching us these great exercises. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, if you've tried these exercises, please let us know how it went for you. If you want to learn other exercises, feel free to let us know as well. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.